Oh my god, Rachel, look back at me. Put your phone down. <laughs> okay, now you can do what you're... Hi. Okay, sexy lady. You're meant to be the girl who gets her hair wet. Hannah told me that when I was being a little sass about tipping my head under the water. Anyways, it inspired this entry. It's wild how many lives I've lived and how many me's that have existed and how many more lives I have left to live and me's there are to come. I've never been a birthday, month, week, or even the day of type of broad. I tend to um, ignore it altogether, if I'm being honest. I normally have this too unworthy to exist feeling. I've never felt deserving of any love, let alone a day dedicated to my existence. Yet, here I am existing in a new life, discovering a new me and catching myself not only wanting to exist, but celebrating that when I wanted to give up with every fiber of my being, I didn't. This Rachel, this life, this is your reminder. You are not your favorite self yet because you've always been her. Maybe that was a weird way, hi, to start an episode, but it wouldn't be an episode of mine if it wasn't a little bit chaotic. I went to Mexico a couple weeks ago with Hannah for a week, came back, got super, super sick. The dogs ended up getting infested with fleas and literally everything, if anything and everything is trying to get in my way of finishing this trailer. We are two inches away from gold. I feel like that's exactly how it kind of happens. Let's just dive into it and show you this living room, dining room makeover. But we had to do a couple of gnarly things to actually get into the trailer, starting with like building a temporary roof. I used to have to put tarps over the top of this thing when the weather got sketchy and nine times out of 10, I wouldn't even be prepared for the weather. So it would rain, I would do it a day late, there'd be damage. And so I was just like, Rachel, let's fix this, shall we? I decided to just follow kind of like a basic roof frame. And instead of using wood on top of that and then corrugated metal, which would add a ton of weight, I was just going to be adding this white PVC uh, but now looking back at it I don't know if that's enough protection but I just needed something to repel the water without compromising the structure of the trailer because it's not supposed to hold that much weight how I decided which direction like the pitch would go is I just based it off of the other pitches of the three structures on my property and they're all going this way I also started laying down those white sheets furthest away and then overlapping them like coming towards me because the wind comes if you're like technically behind me like looking at my back the wind comes from that direction so you don't want it to go against the seams of the panels and rip them off of the roof oh my god i built all that Let's talk about today's sponsor, AG1, who we've actually worked with before. I told myself this month that it was gonna be the month I get in the best shape of my life before my birthday. But fun fact, life and just things got in the way. But the one thing I stayed consistent with, which I'm so happy for, it was like my daily essential routine every single day was my AG1. AG1 is a nutritional drink that is made up of 75 high quality whole food sourced ingredients and it's just a effortless daily habit to integrate into whatever type of lifestyle that you have. AG1 addresses whole body health by delivering comprehensive daily nutrients as well as supporting long-term gut health. AG1 contains vitamin C, zinc, and functional mushrooms to support overall immune health as well. It's literally one scoop, eight ounces of water, it's just that easy. Two main reasons that I take AG1 is because number one, I hate taking a ton of just vitamins. I just can't do it. I can't commit to it every morning. And number two, gut health. I am all about my gut health this year. I'll like force myself to sit here and drink it. Not in a bad way, but just like to make sure I start my day properly. Cheers. 
I mean, legitimately, I am obsessed with AG1 and they are actually giving my community a free year's worth of their vitamin D3 and K2, as well as their five free travel packs, which I am going to be packing for myself this birthday weekend. And it just comes in this really beautiful container as well as this packet, you throw it in the refrigerator and it's literally a scoop of day, you guys. Just follow the link, get a free year's worth of the D3 and the K2, as well as the travel packs and just thank me later. But thank you, AG1. I love and hate these doors so very much. I had to confront the fact that these didn't work in DIY solutions. So that's what we're doing here before we decorate. This is a little bit of a baby because it just seems good. God, like so much thing. Thank Rich. There were two problems really. The top track just couldn't support the weight because we DIY'd it with closet door sliding tracks. Like I should have ordered the proper like $300 professional pocket door tracks, but I just don't have that in my budget right now. So I'm just gonna remove those and basically like sandwich the doors in between and create a guide for the doors to follow versus like being dependent on the weight from above. Second thing, the track wheels that we use were like sliding glass door track wheels and the gunk and things that were getting into the tracks because of the weather like the doors would just get stuck on the bottom as well so i want to just switch those to regular old schmegular casters almost like skateboard wheels if you will um and not ever really run into that issue so when removing that top track i needed to fill the holes that were there from the closet hardware that we had previously oh my god do i hate to be admitting this right now but one side of the trailer wasn't perma jacked, so my drywall was really cracking because as you're walking, you're shifting this trailer and obviously you're moving the joints. <laughs> and this was an easy fix because these perma jacks came with the trailer. There's a million of them. So I just put those back where they were and leveled it out. I just, like why? It doesn't have to be that hard, Rachel. The C channel I used previously for the original DIY, honestly, it was super thick, really heavy, super wide because we used, you know, the spines of it for the track. And now what I'm doing is bringing in a skinnier, more lightweight. They don't have to be so close. The tracks don't have to be so, like the spines don't have to be so tall on the edges of the C channel because we're gonna be using the flat part versus the spine. So I was able to replace that and make it a little lighter. This is what I was talking about uh, when my ex hollowed out to put yeah. these skinny tiny wheels that got gunked a bunch and just would like skip because of sand got it in there or whatever were slid into here and would go on the skinny side of the track and have to align perfectly. Now that just doesn't work with a desert wind. This thing got thrashed. So I'm gonna remove these, but obviously we can't put the casters here. It doesn't really have much to grip onto and this compromised the joint. So I don't wanna keep putting pressure directly on here. I kinda wanna move the pressure in. So I'm gonna move the casters in six and a half inches on each side even though that's pretty deep that's the only option right now so we'll start marking at six and a half you guys i will not be diying these for my house this i just want to see it through i really do i was trying to top like put the weight on the top versus just trusting the base of the bottom after i secure it and what the original guy was trying to do was line, which it works if they don't wobble. Of course you weren't recording, sleeping on the job, per huge, but look at what happened while you were sleeping. Okay, hear me out. There is no more top track. We're gonna make a, basically like a guide on the top and really depend on the weight of the door to move on this bottom. And this, these will remain on the outer and then the inner doors will come on the second track. However, these slide a lot easier. The amount of outfit changes in this episode, let me tell you, I was, I, I mean, I've been working with the weather or the weather has been working against me and we've been working around it. This episode, fun fact, is 23 separate days within less than 
20 minutes, I think, or 25 minutes. So that just gives you a little context of how much I needed to kind of shift as I was doing these doors. Like I said before, I really wouldn't recommend this type of door DIY specifically to an interior exterior uh, type of situation, but I am happy that I kind of went down with the ship and saw it through. I don't have the budget to do a 20 foot opening door right now in the trailer, but I can always revisit it and fix it later if this really doesn't work out. But so far, so good. Okay, doors are done and the design has begun. Now, please keep in mind that I never really have a plan for how I decorate. Specifically within this trailer, I kind of just decorate by feel. And what I feel like doing is not having drapes over this back window. So you always have a view of the sky. And what I feel like doing is pulling the couch a little bit away from the window so that I don't like it right up against it and utilizing that space just a little bit. Create something functional and beautiful, or maybe try to at least. Where my brain is going, framing always looks so crazy and then you can make it look so beautiful. Where my brain is going is I would like to grow myself the damn flowers. So there's always flowers in here, but yet there's not vases taking up space to have to be on tables because clearly we don't have that type of space here. We're just gonna make a little compartment. We're gonna make a little planter box. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sticking to it. I treated this just like a regular planter box. I lined it with the plastic, lined it with the weed barrier, added some soil and my choice of seeds. Phase one done. And then also it doubles as a weapon. Yeah, I know. Oh my God, could you imagine if I just broke? that window right so where did we leave off yesterday we planted and i wanted to see no water seep through so now we're going to cap it on the top since this is working and just take it from to basically have access to the plug behind the couch, what I'm doing is plugging in an extension cord and putting it in that little compartment for people to just open up and pull out and use at their own will. I honestly love having an extension cord to be able to move around the couch. Not everybody has those long iPhone chargers or laptop chargers, so that is what I'm opting for here. So like I said, like either put the whole cord in here, you know, down below, because it's just gonna go behind the couch. So if you're worried about seeing the cord, you don't gotta trip out. You can just put the whole thing in here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. Fun fact for you, this was going to be like a wall hanger that was gonna be full of florals, but I've changed my mind about that project and I'm gonna repurpose what I built to become wall art. Now, with this trailer, I genuinely don't have like a plan for anything. I'm just kind of doing what I feel. And so what I wanna do is place the tabletop that's gonna be over here for the breakfast nook and place this wall art and kind of DIY the wall art once it's up there. This is literally an old worksheet from God, when I first started doing DIYs here. So I thought it'd be a cool backdrop. for all of this was continue the plant theme. I, you guys are gonna hate me, but I am just continuing the theme. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Okay, we gotta go cut some propagations. Cutout kind of comes in handy, it sounds stupid. I'm trying to right my wrongs here. To kind of just put more leafy plants going through the art maybe, so it's closer in. And then I need to figure out some drapery over here. So let's do that together, shall we? You hate this. Okay, figure out what you like to do. 
This might seem weird that I'm DIYing a light fixture when I have overhead lighting. I do believe in every space, you should have the option of having bright overhead lighting or romantic, you know, more warm, inviting, aesthetically pleasing lighting. So that was the goal here, as well as adding some textures to make it less so like stark white and um, boring. <laughs> So pretty in person it's just like I want you to feel like you have been here before you lived here and so now I want to turn this into a light fixture okay yeah. and then we can have this rope this is where we're at we're adding texture because we're not going to cover this I don't think ever but now I'm thinking about it and should have an option. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Let's see how I like that. I don't know. Well, yeah. We're gonna sleep on it. We can always change it. That's why I wanted to take my time with this episode. This next minute is just a little bit chaotic. Okay, so I revisited the light fixture and what I'm using is an like open-ended extension cord and connecting the black wires and the neutrals and then just capping off the copper and putting those in a junction box. And once you connect those properly, bada bing, bada boom, you should have some light. So then once I had that hooked up and wired and I liked it, that's when I went back to the light fixture and properly secured it with drywall hooks. I was using cup hooks before, which will not hold the weight. So you wanna make sure you're installing hooks that can hold the weight of the light fixture you're installing of anything that you're installing and then this white chain uh-huh i love it it's gorgeous so here's the texture and then we'll secure the light fixture with these people like him okay light fixture done handled it actually oh boy Hello. It struck the... I didn't check the weather and I did not realize it was going to be storming. So when I moved this barrel over here just now, lightning just struck it. <laughs> I wish I was recording. That just gave me a heart attack. Whew. Oh my god. All right, well, as the storm prevents me, I keep detailing and I absolutely love it. It's like past Rachel kind of knew what this trailer needed. So we can't do the table unless we brought it inside, but I would have to transport it. And carrying metal in a rainstorm, oh my God, I'm so nervous it's gonna do it again. Carrying metal in a rainstorm right now, probably not the smartest idea. Right as I'm about to shoot finals, I swear to God, it's literally wild. There's a couple places that it's leaking, so tomorrow my main objective is to revisit all the spots. I'm gonna mark it with tape right now. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day. It is storming, and I can see where there's leaks. You guys, past Rachel really messed up on the exterior, so I'm just gonna go inside, not, I mean, I can't control the storm. Um, <laughs> but holy, does this really suck. Oh my God. It's okay, I can fix it. I can fix it. I have been so concerned with the trailer that I didn't even realize my front was flooding. Oh, it's like two seconds away from going. The trailer is leaking from the ceiling as I am wrapping up. You guys, it is not stop. I will not be able to sleep with the thunder going because all my brain is doing is like, did I, I know I didn't weatherproof. The power just went out. Holy the next day, I was so deflated from that flash flood. I even called my neighbor and was like, this isn't normal. And they agreed they've been out here 20 plus years. They've never seen anything like it. So I was so quiet and I just wanted to DIY and have a win. But as I started to DIY this with an article tabletop, this is from a table I've already owned. I just took the legs off and started to use pipe and flange to essentially create like a two tiered table base to put a plant on each layer basically there will be a plant on the bottom base and then there will be a shelf above it which will also have a plant that was the general idea for this 
Okay, come with me to the trailer, you little humans. Genuinely not too sure what was going on with my head here measurement wise for the base, but typically a dining room table height is 28, I think to 30 inches max. And right here, as I was assembling it, I'm like, Rachel, this is 36 inches plus because each of these pipes are 18 inches. You're not considering the connections are the tabletop and it just became like a bar top and it was definitely not my intention at all now when I flip the table over you'll see I didn't put the bottom base in that would prevent it from being wobbly and I definitely could execute the design moving forward like making the legs a little bit shorter adding that shelf to the bottom and going through with my original idea but once I had this even the failure up against the design of the room it just looked cheap and I was not a fan of it Something I've been having a hard time with is losing the metal on the exterior of the trailer when I start to weatherproof the windows, which will be in another episode. So bringing this barrel in as the base to the dining room just adds that metal accent that I'm losing on the exterior as I need to fix what I have um, installed that wasn't there before. You know, I took away metal from the trailer and I need to make sure I'm weatherproofing that and I hate that I'm losing the blue. So it was really fun to kind of look around my property, see that, roll it over and implement it into the space and bring that blue that I love so much back. As you can see, when I move the dining table and we lose a ton of space, that is why I did the 20 foot opening. When you open that up, I will be building a deck that goes out 20 feet and is 40 feet long and that will like double your living space so when you open those doors it'll open up to a coffee table and another set of chairs and um, that is really where this space comes in but again this is tiny living. The couch fun fact as well is a sleeper and I've linked everything that I've used down below for you. Yet here I am existing in a new life, discovering a new me and catching myself not only wanting to exist, but celebrating that when I wanted to give up with every fiber in my being, I didn't. It is wild how much work this took, but I am so proud of myself for not giving up and I cannot wait to show you the kitchen, but let's just bask in this for a second.